Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we will be going over how to get the Black Feather Nester pet from the Black Feather Nester treasure in Dragonflight. This is a relatively simple treasure to get. All it requires is dragon riding, and it does not appear to have a minimum level required to get it at the moment. So let's go ahead and get started. The closest flight point to the treasure is going to be in Ascara. Once you fly to Ascara, then you will head over here in this area. I will be putting the exact coordinates in the description. And as you can see, looking down, the reason you're going to need dragon riding is because this treasure is way up in the air. Now, if you look down here, there is a bird flying around called the pepper hammer. So what we need to do is we need to lure the pepper hammer up on to this little stick here. And once they do that, we'll be able to click on the pet. At the bottom of the tree opening, you will see something called tree sap. So you'll loot that. And once that is looted, you'll come up here and put it on the stick. Now, if the stick is not clickable for you, you will need to do a slash reload. Hopefully this is fixed by the time Dragonflight goes live, but until it is fixed, if the stick is not clickable, just as I said, slash reload and it will become clickable for you. So what'll happen is you will click on the stick and then the pepper hammer now has the cog wheel over them and they have become clickable. So they will come over to the stick to eat the tree sap and you will just click on them and it will cast pepper hammer and the black feather nester will appear in your bags and the pepper hammer will fly away. Now this is one of the treasure pets that you can collect three of three And it is cageable. As far as I've been able to tell, you can only loot this treasure once per character, so keep that in mind. Now, as far as the stats are concerned, it's actually a pretty powerful pet. So we've got a 305 power stat, which pans out for what we see with the health being at 1465, which is right about average or just below average and of course it does have a 260 speed which is just about average it does have metabolic boost now this is only going to increase your speed for one round but one of the things i like to do with slower pets that have one round speed boosts like leap and things like that is to use the speed boost like metabolic boost and then use an avoidance ability like lift off dive burrow or things like that because at that point what happens is you get your speed boost you're faster so you use the avoidance ability and then you become slower the next round so in the end you kind of get two rounds of avoidance and an attack you could also use it in conjunction with thrash so you'll get yourself faster with metabolic boost and then thrash and you can alternate between the two of those you can also do amplify magic the metabolic boost then thrash and your metabolic boost and thrash will have amplified damage there's a few ways you could use this pet it might not be the most efficient pet in terms of just outright damage being done however it will it does have a move set that is more cohesive than a couple of the other move sets i've seen from some of the new pets which is nice that being said i'm never going to necessarily recommend using slicing wind just because it's so rng and Squawk can be really nice if maybe you're going against a critter pet and you want to make a nice boost to thrash. So in theory, you could Squawk, Amplify Magic, and then thrash, and you'd probably tear through critters pretty quick, especially if you're going to be faster than them. 
and the damage might also be nice if you're slower so you're only hitting once or twice depending on your RNG. So all in all, it might not be the highest utility pet that we've seen, but it is still pretty decent. But that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little guide on how to get your Black Feather Nester pet. If you have any questions on how to get this pet, you can post those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you have any pet related content you'd like to see me do a video of, you can post that in the comments as well. However, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And until next time, everyone, happy battling!